Welcome to Grumpy Guy Gaming and this is a tutorial for how to make a Necron Orange Power Weapon. I'm going to use this part and now let's slowly start. We're continuing. Please go, first we're going to Paint uh, Rhino side on the model. That's what we use for the base coat. Do always do between thin coats. One, one, pick one. Pick one. Yeah, I'm yeah, going to do only one side. Just so you the tutorial. Speed up. Speed up. A little bit. 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 Dry. Now we finished it to dry the Rhinox right has dried. Now we're going to start painting the edges of the uh, blade. We're going to mix uh, Evil Sun Scarlet with uh, Rhinox Hide and then we're going to Slowly this is a very watered down mix. I'm going to define the edges for the, for the beginning. I'm going to go half way for the parts we want. So we're going to the middle part will be the brightest. Uh, and sorry guys if a little bit harder for me to paint over a camera and everything. Now slowly build up the color. It's very hot today in Croatia, so the paint is drying fast, so it's good. It's good and not good, so you think I have a wet palette at hand. This part we're going to do later. But we're going to build up a little bit of the color just to get a different gradient before we go to the orange part. This technique you can use, the way I'm painting, you can use it in any color. This is yours. Any mistakes I make, I'm going to rectify them by glazing or anything. Um, yeah, by glazing. So don't worry about mistakes. Because they will be. During painting, there's always mistakes. Putting my fingers so the camera can more focus on the item itself than and its for stability itself. Next, we're going to now we're going to add a little bit of orange into our mix. It's a little bit watered down now, but that's good for us. Not doing highlights yet, and we're going to do the same thing again. It's like a, a layer. It's very thin paint. Just you have to watch out with this kind of paint. It doesn't pull up anywhere. If it starts, you can see the pools like here. Just 
draw it around a little bit. This one is going to be a little bit more to the edges to define them. I could have cut my nail before doing this tutorial, but I was lazy. Getting there. Now the final, at least for me, it will be the final highlight is the Trolls Layer Orange. Add a little bit of water in it. Then I'm going to slowly add highlight. Now, good thing is to put your finger on it for stabilization and then slowly do the highlight this one will be the hardest for you since there is no defined edge or something like that almost freehanding it but you can always come back with the colors you can see on the palette. Always come back. Don't worry if you get it into the recesses, you can come back with the aggregate substrate wash. And then define the edges. Or the, not the edges, the. Oh, I need this a little bit bad these couple of days. Sorry, guys. It's not focusing. Sorry. So we just put on the top parts of highlight. For the edges itself, we can just do the flat brush, so 45 degrees. Just slowly. I can always support my fingers somewhere so I get more stability. Should be okay, it's not perfect. You could come back now with Rhinoxide just to 
Dal, downtown the paint the edges. Now I'm going to do a little bit of a glazing just to the camera is not catching the paint bucket, but I could have been worse. That's it. Now we're going to paint the the ball here. For that we're going to be using pure wholesale slave orange. I'm going to do three three to four coats to this since it's a darker color. And once I get it to a normal standard I'll Start recording again, so see you soon. And we're back now that we raise the color itself. Now we're going to do a little bit of highlighting. I'm going to mix Flash Gets Yellow with the Troll Slayer Orange. Then I'm going to go just on the top itself. And a little bit more. I'm going to go a little bit brighter than usual. Should be fine that it's some kind of a Notice guys, I'm doing a little bit thin down paints, it's easier for me to paint, it's like glazing, then I can control what I'm doing, it takes a couple of coats, but you get better results with it, and for the final thing, I'm going to blow it a little bit, for the final, we could do a little bit more, add a little bit of flash uh, kits here on top, just to add a little bit, like it's glowing itself, and then I'm going to do a little glaze of Evil Sun Scarlet, the bottom part, just to define it a little bit. If you made a mistake, you can always come back. And that's it. This was how to paint a Necron power weapon using oranges. Hope you liked it. Focus, focus. Huh? There will be more <laughs> tutorials like this soon. If you have some requests, feel free to put a post out, message me on Facebook or here on YouTube and I'll see if I can do it. It's not the best tutorial out here, out in, there on the YouTube, but at least I try. Uh, again, hope this helps. If you like the video, like it comment, subscribe if you really want to see more, hit the bell button if you want to get any notifications when I upload a new video, and that's it, thank you for watching and stay grumpy.